Hi, Francisco from Logify here. And today we're gonna look on how to use the internal iCAD synchronization feature. This feature, which we'll call internal sync for the purpose of this video, is very useful to interconnect the calendar of the rentals and to provide then the chance to the guests to book either the individual rentals or the entire property as a single booking. This means that if the entire property gets booked, then the both individual calendars will be closed of the rentals. But if one individual rental will be booked, then only the entire property will be closed, giving the chance to the guests to book the other individual property. Let's see how to set up this configuration. First of all, you will need to have each rental you want to interconnect on Logify, plus the entire property. This means that if you have a property with three rooms in it, you will need to have four rentals in total in Logify. Three for the individual listings and then one for the entire property. Once you have created your rentals, you're ready to start setting up this configuration. And to do this, we need to go in the main menu, in settings, and then calendar import export. Here we have two sections, import calendar and export calendar. We always start from export calendar. What we'll do here is to get the calendar link of the entire property and inject it in the calendar of the individual rentals. And then we'll do the opposite. Take the calendar of the individual listings and inject it in the calendar of the entire property. Let's assume that you have an entire property that you want to interconnect with two individual listings. We'll need to do four connections in total. Let's start with the first connection from the entire property. Here, it's really important to make sure that in the drop-down menu on the right, we select Export Reservation Excluding iCal. So the system will generate for us here the link in red that will be correct. Here, we'll need to copy the link and we'll move on to the import calendar section above. We will click on the red button Add Calendar and paste the link that we just retrieved in the first field here. Then we will select Room 1 because the first connection will be from entire property into Room 1. And that's what we will write here in the source. Entire property into Room 1 and we confirm the mapping with the button. Now we will do the second connection, which will be very similar to the first one, the entire property, but this time into the calendar of room two. So we again copy the same link of the entire property, making sure that we have export reservation excluding iCalendar on the drop-down menu here. And we will inject it again in the same field. But this time we will select room two and writing in the source entire property into room two. So we will be able to recognize it and click confirm mapping. This is the second one. Now we will do the opposite. We will take the calendar link of room one and inject it into the entire property calendar. So we will select it from the drop down menu. We make sure we have export reservation excluding iCal always and we copy the calendar link. Then we go again on the Add Calendar and paste it, as we did in the other two instances. And here, this time, we select Entire Property. The source will be Room 1 into Entire Property. And we click Confirm Mapping. For the fourth and last connection, we will do Room 2, this time, into the Entire Property. So system has generated the link already we copy it always with export reservation excluding ICA and we click on that calendar paste it and the entire property is what we need here as we did in the third connection so the source the last one will be room 2 into entire property and click confirm mapping so now we have the four connections of the internal synchronization now that we have them all, we can test it on the calendar. To test it, we will need to go in the main menu and then calendar. And in here, we can do it by creating a block on the calendar. For the purpose of this video, we will do a close period. So I can select random dates and click create close period. And then create close period again. Now the period has been, a close period has been created but we, we see that the room one and room two are not yet closing automatically. This is because 
Normally, we need to wait up to two hours for the internal synchronization to, to be happening automatically. But we also have a button in the same page that we were before, menu settings and calendar import export. We have a button here, the synchronize now button to synchronize the, the calendar so that the, the system will create the blocks for the interconnected rentals. We can click it and see how it looks like. See now here, we have room one and room two that are blocked because we have created a close period. And so this ensures us that the internal synchronization works as expected. Now we can do the opposite case and see how it works. First, we'll need to remove the close period and as well, click again the button to refresh the availabilities on the calendar. So we start again from a clean slate. Here we are. So now instead of closing the entire property, we will be closing the room one to see how the calendar will behave. Click again on create close period once we select the dates and click close period. Now let's refresh the availabilities and see in the calendar how it looks like within two hours. This is the behavior that happens within two hours automatically once again. So you see the entire property has been closed for the same date, but the room two is open, giving the guests the chance to, to book for, for this listing. The same will be happening for if we close room two and I will show you. Let's delete like once again the close period and refresh the availabilities. Okay, let's do the last test now. If we close room two, the close period, which can be a booking, eh? of course. Now I'm doing a close period, but this can be as well a booking and it will be closing the interconnected rentals. Let's see how it will behave the system. In this case, exactly, we have the entire property that is being closed manually by me right now, but uh, automatically uh, by two hours, as I said before. Room one, as you can see, is open, so it can, it can be booked. And that's it. This brings us to the end of the video. If there is any particular topic you would like us to cover, just let us know. And if you need any further support, we'll leave the contact of the support team in the video description below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.